What's going on guys, Living Gazamas here, back with another Pokemon Go video, and in today's video guys, we are talking about the main event that is taking place after the Day of the Dead event in the month of November. If you guys watched my video from a few days ago, you would know that yes, I am talking about the Festival of Lights event. So this is a returning event in the game. We've had, we've had this event I think two to three times before. So this event, from the leaks, is correct so yes i was talking about my previous video shiny mortal and the debut of tad bulb a brand new paldea pokemon all of that was correct so let's get into all of the details about the event right now so it will be starting on november 7th which is a tuesday at 10 a.m local time and lasting until november 12th at 8 p.m local time and yes of course tad bulb and belly bolt from gen 9 will be making their debut there is no special evolution requirement for belly bolt all you guys need is 50 candy for the tad bulb now the event bonus is two times dust for hatching pokemon two times candy for hatching pokemon and incense excluding the daily incense will last twice as long so two hour incense for this event not too bad so there will be a timed research in the event, which will focus on exploring and catching Pokemon. So you might have to hatch some eggs, walk a certain amount of kilometers, and catch some Pokemon to complete this research. And you guys will get a free avatar item uh, as well from that time research. So that's pretty cool right there. Now, featured spawns, we have Pikachu, Vulpix, Ponyta, Magnemite, Voltorb, Chinchou, Mareep, Slugma, Electric, Litwick, and of course, yes, Shiny Mortal and tad bulb but they will be low spawn rate because it does say some trainers might even encounter the following so the spawn rate for tad bulb and morlol are not going to be that good so don't go into this event expecting a lot of spawns for the new shiny morlol uh, because yeah the spawns are not going to be that great for it and possibly for the tad bulb too but there are other ways to go after the shiny of morlol now one of those methods is 7k 7ks will feature elikid magby the Dene and Morlul. And it does say too on the 7Ks, guys, that the Morlul will be shiny boosted in the 7Ks. So maybe like a 1 in 125 shiny rate on that compared to 1 in 512 shiny rate in the wild. So you guys could hatch a shiny in those 7Ks. This is pretty similar to the Psychic Spectacular event we had where the shiny Solosis was boosted in 7Ks too, but it was full odds in the wild. And do remember, I did hatch a shiny Solosis from that event so maybe I can hatch this brand new shiny too fingers crossed uh, but there will be also increased incense encounters of a few good Pokemon Alolan Geodude, Hisui Voltorb, Slugma, Volby, Illumise, Blitzel, Litwick, Litleo, Dedene, Morlul 2 so rock some incense for that brand new shiny and Tadbulb as well so again incense will be pretty good for this event and there also will be field research task encounters for Darumaka, Morlul, and Tadbulb. So again, at least we can get some good IVs for Tadbulb in the research. Same for Morlul, and also maybe that will be the best way to shiny hunt this Pokemon if the spawns are pretty dang bad. And there also will be Pokestop showcases for Litwick and Tadbulb as well. And there also will be a brand new avatar item in the shop too. And there are some exclusive bonuses for trainers in India, which will be a special collection challenge that does award Stardust, XP, and an encounter with Tadbulb too. They can also earn twice the candy for catching Pokemon during the event too. So some pretty cool bonuses there. And they do confirm that a raid day will be happening on November 11th. That was also in the infographic too. But that should be a raid day for Mega Garchomp, which should not be a surprise since I have made a few videos about that already. So yeah, that does pretty much summarize the Festival of Lights event. It does seem like it will be pretty good. The featured spawns are not that bad. Brand new shiny Pokemon, brand new Paldea Pokemon too. So I am definitely looking forward to this event. So please comment below, guys, your thoughts on this event. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like in the video, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.